Good morning, Dale. Hey, good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. Happy Sunshiny Tuesday. Yes, beautiful Tuesday it is. Let's jump straight into it because we do have a lot to cover today. First off, we have the I Will Wait for Spring special. Yes, the sunshine is a good inspiration, but truly, this is for the buyers that are not sure about purchasing now or later. Maybe they're waiting for rates to drop. Maybe they're waiting for spring to come so they don't have to move in the rain and the snow. Well, send your buyers. We will get them pre-approved. And if they are pre-approved in January or February, we will pay for their appraisal at close of escrow. Absolutely. Dale, rates, what's going on with them? There's something happening. Well, they seem to be stabilizing. You know, for the last month or so, they've hovered right in the six and a half to 6.7 range. So that's, you know, while it's not as low as we would like, at least there's some stabilization there and it's not 8% like it used to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, and that's a really interesting thing. I. This is an anecdotal thing, Dale. I've noticed it myself because I live and breathe this and I see it every day. But some lenders are offering rates and they're continuing to drop, like they're advertising that they're still lowering rates, even though very clearly the average went up a slight amount. Why are some lenders still going down and others have stabilized or gone up? Well, it's a fire sale. And, and, and what I mean by that is they're doing what they can to drum up business because let's face it, business is slow. We all know this. And what they're doing is they're trying to make up in volume a, a little bit, a little bit of money. So they figure if they discount the rate a little bit, they'll get more customers. But the reality is it's not going to last. If Safeway was selling Cheerios for a dollar a box less than anybody else, well, they'd run out of Cheerios really quickly. And that's what will happen to these lenders. They're the the these artificial lowering of rates gonna last a day or two or a week or whatever, but then they're gonna have to go back to the market rate because that's how they make a living. Yeah, and one important thing is the market rate is like, okay, what is the market rate? Well, it all depends on how much profit lenders want to make. The federal funds rate's only at five point five percent right now which means the average profit is 1.1 to maybe 1.2% right now for lenders. And that's pretty slim with all yeah. of the risk that's involved. So that being the case, if lenders are going to be lowering rates, well, they're cutting directly into their profits at this point. So yeah. we expect this kind of stabilization to continue throughout the market until the Federal Reserve indicates some change in either direction and for the most part, it's really going to stay this way until we see them actually take action on lowering the federal funds rate. And right. Dale, I, I want to read this little article. This is actually from Freddie Mac. Those of you who don't know, Freddie Mac is pretty much just the federal government. So yep. this is a good old Uncle Sam talking. The 30-year fixed rate has remained within a very narrow range over the last month, settling in at 6.69% this week. Given this stabilization in rates, potential home buyers with affordability concerns have jumped off the fence and back into the market. Despite persistent inventory challenges, we anticipate a busier spring home buying season than 2023, with home prices continuing to increase at a steady pace. What do you make of that? <laughs> Well, you know, that's a fairly bold statement, and they're saying what we've been saying, which is, I think we're going to get some stabilization, spring is going to get a little better, and prices are probably going to continue to go up. And, and the nice part about that, this is the federal government not only just relaying information we already know, but actually making a prediction on the market, which is kind of a rare thing for a federal entity to do. And it kind of gives a little bit more reassurance that we have a stabilizing market, we have more buyer activity, and we're going to see prices increase a lot more. And that third one, we have been beating the drum on it forever and ever and ever. 
But Dale, it brings up a concern. This is all for buyers that can afford a home right now. Mm -hmm. Even though a majority of people can't and inventory is extremely low, we still have a gap of buyers that need to buy a home, want to buy a home, cannot buy a home. Isn't there a program coming out that might help with that? Uh, I'm thinking it's the Dream for All program that was a was a big hit last year. Well, it was a big hit for about 11 days. Uh, <laughs> you know, it ran out of money and it we're being told it's coming back in April and virtually the same program. It's a 20% down payment assistance. It is a loan, but it is not an interest bearing loan. Mm -hmm. So if 20% is 80,000, when you sell your house or refinance it down the road, you have to pay back 80,000. You do have to pay some of the shared equity, not appraised value, but shared equity. And one of the changes, as you pointed out, is the first time home buyer, only the first generation, meaning you have to be a true first time home buyer, not, not having owned a home in three years. Yeah, so it's really a good deal. Last time they included the three years, a lot of people bought up with that. They found a majority of those kinds of first time home buyers were doing this. So they wanted to bring it back even further. Now, one quick thing I wanna emphasize is, yes, they require the 20% that they give you back. They want that money back, obviously, but they're also going to want 20% share of appreciation, not even equity. So it's important to keep these words separate because equity would mean they want 20% of what you have paid into your loan. So if you paid over a certain number of years, maybe 10 years, you've paid $100,000 of your own money into principal, they can't touch that. They don't touch that equity that you have made. They only touch the appreciation value of the home from 500 to 600,000. They gonna, they're going to take 20% of that 100,000 increase in appreciation. So this is a lot better than a lot of people make it out to be. It is a lot cheaper than a lot of people make it out to be. And it ends up being a really nice deal, especially for home buyers that just have no way into the marketplace. How can you get qualified for this deal? What do I need to do? Well, uh, calhafa.ca.gov has a lot of information but basically contact us. We'll tell you how to get the counseling done. It's important to do the counseling now. There's two sessions. There's the Cal Halfa eight hour session, which from what everybody tells us really isn't eight hours. And there's the one hour dream for home counseling session, which also isn't an hour, but it's important to get that counseling done. Yeah, they're good for a year. They, they, Cal Hafa offers a lot of other programs. So if you find that dream home before this comes out, or let's say it runs out and you didn't get on the train, well, there are other ways you can get into it. Um, yep. Be in contact with us, combine this with our free appraisal, uh, and you're gonna have a smoking deal. So it's yeah. really time to get pre-approved right now. We yep. also do credit education seminars. The absolute number one way to predict a good interest rate is with good credit. So we go over strategies to boost your credit, some that require paying off credit, some that don't require any paying of credit. Tuesday, February 6th, 5 o'clock p.m. online in person. We hope to see you there. Tuesday of the month, February 20th, again, 5 o'clock at the office. Downtown Jackson is the first time homebuyer seminar. Now the, the loans we talk about here, you can not have owned home for three years and be considered a first time home buyer. It's only the dream for all program that you have to be a true first time home buyer. Yeah. So that about wraps it up for today. If you guys have any questions, give us a call, give us an email. We are more than happy to help. Dale, I hope you have a good one. Thank you. You too. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.